Hi, welcome back to Bible Time. Right now, we're going to be reading out of the Jesus Storybook Bible, and we're going to read the story, God Sends Help. This is the story of the Pentecost, or when the Holy Spirit comes. You can find it in the Adult Bible in Acts chapter 1 through chapter 5, and in John chapter 15. Let's begin. Jesus' friends and helpers huddled together inside a stuffy upstairs room. Even though it was sunny outside, the shutters were closed and the door was locked. Wait in Jerusalem, Jesus had told them. I'm going to send you a special present. God's power is going to come into you. God's Holy Spirit is coming. So here they were waiting. Actually, mostly what they were doing was just being scared and hiding. You can't blame them. Their best friend had left. The important people and the leaders were after them, and Jesus had given them a job they didn't know how to do. As they waited, they were praying and remembering, remembering how, from the beginning, God had been working out his secret rescue plan. Suddenly, a strong wind filled the little room, whistling through the walls, rustling on the straw floor. And there, on everyone's heads, shining in the gloom, were flickering flames, fire that didn't hurt or burn. And something more, inside, in their hearts, they felt a strange heat, almost as if all the coldness and hardness were melting away, as if their broken hearts were mending, and God was giving them brand new hearts, hearts that could work properly. How it happened, they didn't know, but they knew God's power had struck their hearts ablaze, and Jesus himself was coming to live inside of them. They had seen Jesus go away, but now he was closer than he had ever been inside their hearts. And this time, nothing could ever separate them. Jesus would always be there with them, loving them, whispering the promise that would get rid of the poison and the terrible lie and that sickness in their hearts. God's wonderful promise to them, you are my child and I love you. Make your home in me as I make my home in you, Jesus had said. Could it be heaven was coming into their hearts? They threw open the shutters. Sunlight flooded through the room as love flooded into their hearts. And the little room was filled with happy noises, dancing feet and singing and laughing. They unlocked the door and surged out into the streets as if they had never been afraid. Peter spoke in a loud voice so everyone could hear. Jesus died for you, he said, because he loves you. But God made him alive again and he has rescued you. People stopped and listened. The words sank deep into their hearts, like the antidote to a deadly poison, like a kiss that wakes you up from a deep sleep. Stop running away from God, Peter said. Run to him instead so he can love you and make you free. And Peter told the wonderful story of God's love. God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. How Jesus came all that had happened. There were lots of people from faraway countries in Jerusalem. They couldn't speak the same language, but as they listened to Peter, everyone could understand what he was saying in their own languages. Many people believed and became Jesus' new friends and helpers. And the wonderful news of Jesus spread like sparks from a fire to villages and towns and cities. Every day, more and more people believed. And so it was that the family of God's children, his special people, grew. One man was watching. I'll stop this, Saul said. But this was God's plan and nothing in all the world would ever be able to stop it. And we will learn more about Saul in our next story. Thanks for coming to Bible Time. I hope you're learning a lot. And I hope that you know Jesus loves you. I'll see you again next time.